The house had been abandoned, seemed frozen in time, as if waiting for voices of children playing or lives being lived, as if waiting for redemption. So, today is the day we choose a house, Cynthia. I'm not going to spend another night in the motel. Well, I just had to show you this old Victorian. I mean, if anyone's going to rent a classic like this, it would have to be a closet romantic like you. Oh, my God, I remember this place. We used to park up here when we were kids. It was for lovers, all right. I remember my first time right over there by that lighthouse. Who was it lived here? The Roths. I remember Clay Roth. They owned the big cannery. It's been vacant for a while. such a dream house. Why hasn't it been sold? Honey, I could just never seem to close escrow. I'm just unlucky, I guess. So why hasn't anyone lived here? Oh, some kind of family tragedy. The daughter ran off. You know how superstitious folks are around here. It just needs a little fixing up. Oh, I don't think this is the right house for us, Annalise. Let's go on back to town. No, I can spend the summer getting it ready. It is so far from town, and we only have one car. Mom, I'll walk. Come on, when are we going to ever find a house that has this much soul? Or this much dust? I don't know if we can afford it. All right, Cynthia, this is your chance to close a deal. How much? 900. 750, that's it. Mom, no more excuses. Now we don't have to stay another night at the motel listening to the moaning in the next room. I'll try to keep you down next time. You should be so lucky. <sighs> well, you have managed to unload this white elephant on me. It's a classic and you know it. Look at it, it's practically furnished with antiques. You know, it looks like they just walked out of here and locked the door behind them. He did. Guess he couldn't live with the memories. I felt someone looking at me, watching and waiting. hard broke her heart she was a light in her daddy's eyes honey I'm so sorry about Frank we all are I mean it was just so sudden 
Well, the whole town is happy you came back home. Laying down there. Laying down there. There's no one down there. Honey, you all right? Yeah, yeah, I'm okay. I just I got Liz dizzy looking down at the rocks. It's all. Okay. You scared me to death. You should have your coffee on the porch. It's a whole different place when the fog lifts. You look tired. How'd you sleep? Weird dreams. Like what? Strange. Standing on the edge of the cliff looking down. I saw this woman falling off. She looked at me with these dead eyes like I was the one who pushed her. And then I heard this voice in my bedroom calling my name. Not this again, Anna. You've got to let your father go. Mom, this has nothing to do with Dad. You used to wake up in the middle of the night hearing him call your name. The therapist said this was a common dream for people in mourning. This was a girl's voice. You're right. You're right, okay? It's just a dream. Vellum? Clay. Clay Roth. Hi. Morning. This is my daughter, Annalise. Hi. We want to replant the garden, if that's okay. I'm not so sure I want the yard dug up. Clay, I don't suppose you remember me. You were a little ahead of me in school. Oh, of course. Laura, you were a cheerleader my last year. 
And you were the star quarterback, and we all had a crush on you. Well, star quarterback ended up cannon fish, I'm afraid. Well, I think there's a big difference between owning a cannery and shoving fish into a can. Not in the beginning, believe me. And I heard from Cynthia you ended up a successful real estate agent in Boston. Life sure has a way of turning the wheel. Life is full of surprises. Yeah. Well, great to have you back. I just wanted to make sure you had everything you needed. Well, we'd like to fix up the house. Of course. I'll tell you what, I'd like to help. Whatever tools and paint you need, you just charge it to me at the hardware store in town. This flower garden must have been beautiful years ago. It certainly was. My daughter planted it. It was very special to her. Why don't you come inside a while? Every house has its little quirks, and you can show us how things work. Well, to be honest, I haven't been back inside that house. Not since. I'm sorry. I understand. Why don't you come by my house in town? We'll talk then. All right. Bye. Mr. Roth? Girl, you go ahead and replant that flower garden. That's a good idea. But do it over here by the porch. Ground out there by the cliff. It's too dangerous. You don't see that? See what? I have to do some work in the office to get ready for Monday. Why don't you come in and visit? I can only take Cynthia in small doses. Most of my conversations with her end up discussing her cup size and her need for male companionship. I'm just gonna walk around town. In a little while, everyone will know you. That's what's nice about a small town. There's gotta be a library around here somewhere. You spend half your life in a library. Mom, I like to read. Remember reading? It's down the street. So I'll meet you back here in about an hour.
Good day. Uh, Mrs. Greeley, the librarian. Are you finding everything you need? Yes, but I can't seem to find the microfiche reel for the local newspaper about five years ago. Oh, it might have been misplaced. I'll see if I can find it. Oh, thanks. You're new in town, aren't you? Yeah, I just moved here. Annalise Villam. Oh, my gosh. Her Laura's girl. I've heard all about you. You folks, you moved into the old Roth place. News travels fast around here, huh? Thanks. I didn't know that house was fit to live in. What I am is a pushy broad who can close a sale like no one's business. And you are going to deceive people into believing the office is classy. We're going to make money together. Hey, partner. Now that I'm on the hook for this house, you going to tell me the real reason it was never rented? Well, some of the locals shy away because of the rumors. Rumors? Anne Rolfe fell off the cliff in the fog one night. And some folks say they didn't think it was an accident. Our ever-capable police department questioned the daughter, Mary. But Clayroff threatened them with lawyers, and the cops backed off. Mary was already under psychiatric care. After the mother died, she ran off. People in town felt like Mary was capable of anything. She was half crazy anyway. Her disappearing like that was a bad sign. From a distance, I knew it was him. The boy painted on the wall of her room. But he wasn't a boy anymore. You drive. Yeah. We need some gas. Can we get some service? What do you need? We need some gas. <sighs> this is really just a garage. This is a super save down the street. That's where most folks around here go. Well, this is a gas station, right? Yeah, I fix cars. Well, it says gas out front. Look, lady, nobody comes here for gas. My prices are too high, my gas is watered down, and I don't wash anyone's windows. If you don't mind, I got a business to run here. You're Johnny, right? Yeah. Johnny Toussaint, do I know you? Well, Johnny, I want you to fill my tank. Would you do that for me? And then I want you to wash my windshield. While I watch. Yeah, if you say so. So, you folks just passing through? We well, rented the Roth house. Up at the lighthouse? Just here for the summer? No. We're locals now. Do you know the Roths? 
Everyone knows Mr. Clay Roth. He's the richest man in town. Did you know his daughter? Yeah. Nice to see her around. What was her name? Her name was Mary. Yeah. I guess she was an artist. She painted a guy on her wall of her room. Oh, yeah? Yeah. How much do we owe you? $22 with the quarter oil. Thank you for the service. Can you direct us to the Roth house? Yeah, just take the coast road out to the cove. This is the newest house. You can't miss it. Bye, Johnny. Bye. Hey, what's your name? Annalise. Annalise Villam. Bye, Annalise Villam. Looks like this town is having an effect on you. Huh? Well, you weren't exactly shy back then. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I guess not. I just felt like I knew him. It's a really beautiful place, Clay. Well, it's mostly my wife's doing. She designed it and made it a home. Hey, girl, how do you like your house? Oh, I love it. I like my room. A lot of good-looking guys plastered on the walls. I know. Mary used to like to paint on the walls. I suppose I could send someone to paint it over. No, no. I like it that way. It's fine. You like horses? Yeah. I used to ride with my dad all the time. Well, come on. I'll show you. I was hoping to meet your wife. Oh, Danielle's with a patient, but she'll be out real soon. My wife, Danielle, is our local psychiatrist. Yeah, I bought this land because of Mary. She loved the pasture down by the river. She loved the horses. That was her horse, wasn't it? How did you know that? What's his name? It's called him Midnight. They were always together. There's Daddy. Hey. <laughs> Give him a great big hug. Oh, you big kid. Oh, you must be Laura. I'm Danielle. Hi. Uh, hi. Hi. I want you to say hi to a couple of friends of mine. This is Annalise. This is her mother, Laura. Hi. Hi. What's your name? Doofus. <laughs> Doofus, can you tell your other name? Heather. That's a pretty name. How old are you? Four. She's a big girl. So Clay tells me you two went to school together at White Cliffs. Well, actually, I only knew him from a distance. I was hoping you were an old girlfriend so you could tell me if he was always this stubborn. Well, I've never been stubborn. No, never. You really have a lot of fun. Be careful with that stallion, Annalise. He reared up on me just the other day. Hi. Hey. Hi. Big guy. How are you? I'll be down. Never let anyone else get near him. <laughs> Annalise, I hear you're fixing up the old place. Yeah, we're replanting the flower garden. Well, if there's anything we can do to help, I'm sure our gardeners would... No, that's okay. I want to do it myself. I want to spend the summer restoring it the way it was when Mary planted it. You know, I shot a home video about six years ago. It shows the gardens exactly as they were. Well, I'd love to see it. Well, come on. Okay. Look at all those flowers. See him all the way back there? Mm -hmm. Oh, that garden. It was her baby. There was always something blooming somewhere. <laughs> Thank you for coming to my party, everybody. Thank you, ladies. Hey. <laughs> over here. <laughs> Oh, Daddy, you and that camera. God. <laughs> Come here, Daddy. Thank you for my necklace. Thank you. 
Go to him, tell him. He can't hear me. He can't see me. No one can. Except you. I've waited for so long. Don't be scared. Away. I'm part of you now. Why do you come here? Just be alone. Think about things. You sit alone up here in the dark? Look, I'm sorry I grabbed you. I didn't mean to scare you. I want you going home. Is it because of her? Mary Roth? What do you know about her? She was your girlfriend, wasn't she? For 
a while. You and Mary met here? All the summer nights. You're only 16. It's about the only thing I ever really cared about. What happened to her? Man, she just slipped away. Listen, Johnny. Mary is still in that house. Now you're mocking me. No. I saw her. She's dead, but her spirit is still in that house. Dad? I felt what she felt. Loneliness. What are you talking about? She's been waiting for a really long time. Waiting for what? I think maybe you know. Secrets. Take my advice. Find another house. Forget all this ever happened. Night, Johnny. Thanks for bringing the tools by. Yeah. You know, if this real estate thing doesn't work out, you can always get work in my place as a gardener. Are you sure you wouldn't like a cup of coffee? Oh, another time, Laura. Bye. Bye. played the piano beautifully, full of feeling. Daddy. Daddy, I was playing for you. My daughter played like that. You have to believe in me, Daddy. I really need you, Daddy. You have to hear me. How long have you played the piano? played before in my life.
My dad finally came back. I know. He, he told us you ran away. I'm still here. I tried to tell him. But he can't hear me. How did you die? They've been giving me these pills. Keep me out of the nut house. Shh. <laughs> I was in the bathtub. I must have fallen and hit my head. I remember the water turning red as I drowned. Why are you doing this to me? I can't leave here till they know the truth. What truth? Someone pushed her off that cliff. Who killed her? I couldn't see in the fog. When I got to the edge, she was already lying on the rocks. Oh, I saw her. She looked broken, like a doll that fell. The dreams I have at night. They're not dreams. Those are your memories, aren't they? I'm trapped here. I've got to know who killed her so that I can leave this house. This really scares me. No. Don't leave me! Now. I thought you'd understand. I thought you'd help me. That's the only reason I let you stay in this house. Annalise's pupils weren't responding to the light quite the way they should. Respond how? Well, generally, the pupils constrict from the light. Hers are staring straight at me without flinching. She may have a slight concussion. Oh, she's real lucky. That was a hard fall. She could have broken her neck. I'd like to see her again very soon. If you could book an appointment first thing next week. Thank you. She's never pulled a stunt like this before. Strange. That stallion would let her ride like that? Annalise, you really scared everybody the other night. I know, I'm sorry. Sometimes I think I'm sleepwalking. I don't remember doing things. Have you ever had these experiences before? Ever since my dad died. I've been getting worse here. Your mother tells me you've had trouble sleeping? When I fall asleep, I have the same dream. Tell me about the dream. See a woman. She's falling off the cliff. Does the dream frighten you? It's 
scared me at first, but now I know what Mary wants. Mary wants. She didn't run away, like they say. She's dead. If Mary is dead, how could she want anything? She told me. You should see your face right now. I know it sounds nuts, but I'm just telling you the truth. Annalise, your mother told me about the sudden death of your father. And on some level, you must relate to Mary and the terrible loss she must have felt. Yeah, I relate. You know, when I talk to patients about the death of a parent, anger is always close to the surface right below grief. Do you feel any anger? Sometimes. Do you feel angry at your mother? My father was mapping a cave in Mexico. Three miles under the ground. He got lost. He wandered until he died. He was alone. Your father's gone, and it must hurt to know that you can't do anything about that. Mary's dad isn't gone. Maybe I can help her. What do you mean by that? Find out what really happened that night. Mrs. Vellum, you should consider renting a different house. The tragedy that took place there may be triggering guilt and emotion more powerful than she can handle. I'm going to give you some medication that may help prevent these kinds of episodes. I would also recommend that she be hospitalized for observation. A few weeks, she will be completely in my care. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Speaking plainly, Annalise could reach her breaking point. I could take care of her myself. Mrs. Vellum, Laura. What we both want is for Annalise to be safe at home with you. But if I feel she's a danger to herself or to others, it would be my responsibility to intervene. I would have no other choice. Call you later and see how you're doing. Well, I'll probably be in the garden, but I'll listen for the phone. Don't forget your medicine. See you later, Mom. What are you doing here? You can invite me in. Yeah, I guess for a minute. It's definitely you. Chevy motor torn apart in the kitchen. It's a Ford. I'm get that out of here pretty soon. Good move. You know, you're going to have to help out in this deal a little. I say something and you go ahead and say something. Going to break the ice. Seen the canneries across town? It stinks when you drive by. That's where I come from. She was a little rich girl and you were the bad boy with tattoos, huh? It was a long time ago. She believed in you. 
Well, no one else did. I want to talk about it. You know, you want me to dislike you, but I see right through you. Yeah, right. They called you white trash, so you decided to prove them right. You should open up your own palm reading shop. You bought that gas station. You figured you'd make something of yourself. Try and make it right for her in this town. Going some nights to the lighthouse, alone in the dark, thinking about her. Get the hell out of here. You're afraid. You're as crazy as she was. You and I are the only ones who can help her. I need you. How can I help her? You said she was dead. Meet me tonight at the lighthouse. I'm busy tonight. You'll be there. What makes you so sure? Because you loved her. I can see you, and I can't see my father. Well, maybe someday you will. He was so full of life. I tried to picture him on the other side, but, but I can't. Well, it's hard to reach across. I knew I'd give anything if I could touch Johnny one more time. I haven't seen him since that night he walked away from me. All you need are my hands. Do you think he'll know? That it's me? <laughs> I don't think men are that observant. I'm right here. Night. Good night. getting out of the house. You said I could help Mary. How? Someone killed her mother. Who told you that? Mary told me. What do you mean? You tell me she talks to you? Yeah. This is too weird for me. You gotta tell me what happened. I need to know that I can trust you. It didn't work out, that's all. You let her on? I didn't lead her on. I never promised her. You're lying! I cared about her. She was waiting for you at the lighthouse, wasn't she? You told her that it was over. It would have never worked out. You told her that you loved her. She was hurting and you just cut her loose? Clay Roth offered me a good job if I would stop seeing her. I was only 16. I didn't know what to do. When you come from my side of town, you gotta take what you can take. I never thought this would happen. What happened? Her mom came out of nowhere. St. Mary would never go with a punk like me. I walked away. When I turned back, Mary was arguing with her mom. She started freaking out. You're not telling me something. I think Mary pushed her off that cliff. I never saw her again. I thought she'd come back, but she didn't. She would have come back to you. If she could. You gotta know that. Believe in that. I haven't kissed anyone in a long time. 
time. No one? No one I cared about. Probably not that good at it. I'm not complaining. Your eyes. What is the one thing that only Mary would know? One small little thing, or, or a memory, or the way you two kissed. Sometimes before she. Don't tell me. She would tell you how much she loved the bones right along here. No way you can know that. Annalise, what are you doing out here? I'm okay. Oh, you scared me to death. Why are you doing this to me? Whose jacket is that? It's Johnny's. Did you spend the night with him? And if I did, you don't know anything about him. I know a whole lot about him. You don't know anything about guys like that. We're not really talking about me and Johnny, are we? We're talking about you. I fell for a boy just like Johnny, who loved to take risks. Everybody told me it was a mistake, that he would get killed on one of his crazy stunts. And they were right. You want me to be afraid? Like you? Well, I don't want to be like you. He left us alone. You're not hurt that he's dead. You're hurt that he left you alone. Why are you talking to me like this? Something is happening to me, and you're not listening. You are fooling yourself. You know what? You don't believe in me. Just like you didn't believe in Dad. It's always your way or no way. 